I have a question for you. Um, do we think of this process like we do antioxidant defense in which in critical illness or chronic inflammatory disease states we're depleting the antioxidant defense molecules and we're simply now repleting these resolvents or are we, are the, is the resolvent pool there, we're just increasing the stimulation for their release? So the evidence that we have so far points to multiple steps in specific in disease. So there is either the absence of the precursor. Mm -hmm. So this is where nutri nutrition comes in very to important. To Exactly, to improve, especially with our Western diet where mm -hmm. we're eating burgers every day. Mm -hmm. um, the omega-3, which, which are essential fatty acids, so we, our body can only make a tiny amount of them. Um, we really need to get most of it via our diet. And because our diets nowadays are not all that great, we don't really necessarily get as much as we, ne as we would need. The other side in disease is that you get dysregulation in the pathways. So the enzymes that, that produce these mediators might not be expressed at the right levels. They might not, the cells that carry these enzymes might not be recruited at the site of inflammation, or they might become activated in an abnormal way, so you don't have the biosynthesis of these mediators or their receptors are not expressed, or there's been cases where there are SNPs in the receptor, so the signaling of the receptor is actually defective. So there's many levels at which the, the cascade can go wrong. Mm -hmm. And this is why understanding each one of the diseases will make the therapeutic even more targeted, you know, very, very ahead in the future if we think about you know, 20, 30 years time when we start doing personalized therapeutics. We mm -hmm. find that you have a lack of the receptor for resolving D1, mm -hmm. um, but you're okay on the other ones, so we give you the other ones as your therapeutic. Um, or you have a lack of the precursors, so you get essential fatty acids in the, um, as, a, as a, your therapeutic. Mm -hmm. Or that the, medi the enzymes that make these cells, that make these mediators are not present, so we can give you specific mediators that we know are biologically active for that particular disease. Um, so it, it depends on circumstances. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For me at least the classic disease for all of these is sepsis. You know it's an inflammatory cascade, it, the inflammatory cascade interacts with coagulation and the two of them cause these problems and, and we know from tons of research that you have both a you know systemic inflammatory response and then you have this compensatory anti-inflammatory response and clinically we can't tell exactly where, you, I mean when you first come in, we know you're in the largely SERS phase, but when you convert to the compensatory phase is, you know, we don't have a good marker, we have no idea. And, and for me, these molecules are something that would be potentially active in both phases. So it's much less important for me to know whether or not I'm in the inflammatory phase, the compensatory phase, somewhere in between. Uh, I know that this might um, actually modulate both of those and be beneficial for the patient. So I, I think that's kind of the prime area for me to think about it. Yeah, and you know, as a general surgeon, I could see use in, in an, these molecules in the pre-op setting to prevent the pain, prevent the clean of the tissues, enhance the function of the white cells, all the things that have been well published that they do. Uh, I think that if but the problem, I don't, we don't know dosing now. Assuming we knew the dose, which was therapeutic, and we had a pill that could do that, assuming we know there's no contraindications, which we would assume that now, we don't have any data that would say they're damaging at all, and then we, we only have good things. It, for us in surgery, it cleans up tissues, any debris, tissue debris, it enhances function and macrophage function and killing bacteria without inhibiting anything else or hurting anything else and it, it decreases the rate of which we resolve the inflammatory process. All three good things for me in a surgical setting. Mm -hmm. But again, I, you know, I don't know a dose or we don't know a vehicle. Are you thinking yeah. any surgery, GI surgery, cardiac surgery? Yeah, I can't think of a downside, I don't know. I mean, you, you know much more about the details of these, but I, I, as I read through all this literature mm -hmm. preparing for this meeting and preparing, I can't find a downside. I, I just can't, but there must be one. Because there always seems to be, you know, we get we like we like great and it comes back down. But I, I, to me, this seems like the ideal drug, the ideal tool. 